Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't see you guys there. <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom, y'all. Me in my bathroom. Today I'm gonna just show you guys what my bathroom looks like. I did a little bit of renovation to here. I definitely painted all the walls white. Um, cause they definitely wasn't looking like this before. <laughs> I revamped my shelf. I did a little DIY, a little shelf that you see with all my bathroom essentials on it. Um, I don't put anything in my cabinets or in the drawers. Only in the top drawer, I have like my brush and my flat irons for my wigs. But other than that, none of the other space gets utilized. And this is just my bathroom. Um, you guys see the clip of me putting up this picture that I epically failed at. <laughs> and then I also have my brother change the doorknob on the bathroom. Um, they came with these like gold doorknobs, but they were like just icky. So I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> we're not having that. Even though I'm in this house just temporarily, maybe even for just a few more months now, I might only be here for like another two or three months, actually. <laughs> um, I'm like, let me just do some things, you know, since my house is brand new, um, I'm not really gonna have any home improvements to do, so let me just do it here. Let me step my foot in the water <laughs> while I can. <laughs> let me do my home improvement chain. While well, I can. But yeah, so this is my bathroom. Um, you guys see everything that's in here. I'm just gonna show you guys what I have and explain to you what it is. Um, very simple, very simple, you know, in case anybody's interested in the products that I use. Um, I'll show you what I have. So let's get into the chatty side. <laughs> so guys, this is what my bathroom looks like right now. I did this DIY myself. Um, about a month ago like this thing was nasty and dirty and I was just gonna toss it and buy a new one and I was like no like why spend my money you know I got some marble paper and I um, painted it and did that I actually painted the whole bathroom myself like a bright white cuz I'm like very like into clean looks and the walls like were a off-white ugly color I got paint up there as you can see like there I got paint but I did it myself so it's messing with the soap and pretty much wasted it everywhere so that's what that looks like um this is the picture that I just bought so basically this is probably like the last thing I'm gonna add my bathroom is actually dirty right now so I'm thinking like maybe like right there would be awesome you know so I'm gonna try to set that crap up Right here, like, of course, it didn't come with any type of hook here. So, this is the picture that I just bought. So, basically, this is probably, like, the last thing I'm going to add. My bathroom is actually dirty right now. So, I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, right there would be awesome, you know? So, I'm going to try to set that crap up right here, like... <laughs> bar soap have to like there's no way I can shower without using a bar soap there has to be bar soap there and then I use my native body wash after like bar soap gets the job done but just body wash alone I cannot just bathe the body wash I feel so icky and dirty <laughs> with just using body wash alone so I use this first and then I use the native and I have like different flavors of these or different scents up there I have the pink ones the blue ones this one actually is my favorite and then I like this one a lot too I used to use a Dove body wash, but I discovered the Native brand and I went the Native way. <laughs> Keep my little wet wipes. 
in the my bathroom as well. I have this one and I have another brand up under my toilet paper that I've been using. You know, uh, better safe than sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I use these as well because just tissue alone just doesn't do the job. And then tissue crumbs, nobody got time for that. Like, you know, so this is the way to go after, you know, peeing, partying, whatever. Whatever you go in the bathroom to do, <laughs> this is, you know, a good one to have. Um, so yeah, this is another essential. And then my last, like, main essential in here will be my Vaseline. It's very small because I don't use it for much. I like to use it around my belly button because I've had, I've had my belly button pierced 10 times now. 10 times. <laughs> so this I use like, you know, to like uh, soften it up and smooth it out or whatever. So there's no like scar. Yeah, I use this. I need to get another thing of coconut oil because coconut oil is also really good to have in your bathroom. That is what I usually use on my face, uh, coconut oil. That's why my skin is always so glowy <laughs> because I put coconut oil on it, but I ran out of that. So I definitely need to make a trip to Sprout and get another um, bottle of that. For the most part, everybody knows my obsession about this native brand. I use their body wash and I use their little deodorant. Um, I use the eucalyptus and mint because I like the way the eucalyptus smells. It makes you smell so refreshing. And also, I just came across their um, toothpaste. So now they have toothpaste, so I might try that out. But I already have a toothpaste brand that I love, so we'll see. I'll try it out though, man. This is that toothpaste brand that I use. It's called Hello. Um, this one is black toothpaste. It's charcoal activated toothpaste. It's supposed to be a way to make your, see, wait comes out black. <laughs> supposed to be to make a way. It's supposed to be to make a way. <laughs> it's supposed to be a way to make your teeth whiter um, naturally at home. And then I also just got this turmeric one, which I showed you guys in my Walmart haul. I actually like it a lot. See, it comes out like this off-white color. Um, shoot, I just made a mess. I like to use this one in the daytime, like when I'm up in the morning and going out. And I like to use this one before bed. And I also have the mouthwash. I also have the charcoal mouthwash. It's black as well. Charcoal activated. So those are the things that I like to use. My toothbrush is called Glim. It's all. And this is what it looks like. It's one of those. So it lights up and then it brushes your teeth and it turns off on its own. So it brushes, you know, it stays on for the recommended amount of time needed to brush your teeth. It's a Walmart brand. Target also has their own brand. It's pretty cool. It was like 30 bucks for this toothbrush. I like it a lot. Um, it's not as expensive as those $200 ones, but we're gonna do what we do. The heads are changeable. You just rechange it, screw it off. They have them for like 10 bucks at Walmart, depending on if you go to Walmart or Target for yours. They have the changeable heads. And that's just what I use for my oral care. The most, um, Pressing thing that I have in my bathroom that you saw on this shelf will be my Diva Cup. So this is one of my like prized possessions. I have been contemplating for so long about getting one. Um, I was just kind of scared about it. It's very skeptical. I've done tons of research on it. Looked high and low. <laughs> and I finally decided to, decided to try one. I actually wanted to try out a Lily Cup first, but um, I was just at the store and they actually had the Diva Cup there. The Lily Cup, they don't have in stores. You have to order online. Actually, I take that back. I think now at CVS, they now sell the Lily Compact, but I don't need a compact. I need the, you know, the whole real thing. <laughs> so, I guess so this is what your Lily Cup will look like. It's just this little clear cup. That's all it is. And it folds and, you know, it's flexible. It can bend all types of ways and you know, for the most part, I just use a little simple C fold like this when I'm using it. And yeah, that's what it is. And it comes in this little baggie so you can store it. So you do have to boil it like once you get it, boil it, boil it before you use it. And then boil it after that cycle ends and store it in your little storage bag. Um, the little storage bag, this cup. Well, I'm sorry, this box, there's actually no need to keep the box, especially if you don't want people all up in your business, if they're coming into your bathroom, 
you know, you just store it in a little thing and toss this out the way. I'm just gonna show you guys what the box came with when I bought it. So they do have two boxes. This is the blue box. The blue box is for somebody who's never um, conceived a child before, never, not, not conceived, but never, you know, bared a child before, you know, if you never gave childbirth or had a baby, you know, the vaginal, whatever, then this is the box for you. <laughs> the other box, which is the pink one, so it'll be like this, but the bottom is pink. That's more for, for women who have had babies. And you know, their stuff down there is just different. So, you know, just all depends on you as a person, like, what, you know, what you done, what you ain't done, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. And it does come with this little booklet, it's just a little pamphlet, tells you different things. It comes in English and Spanish. It gives you different ways on um, how to insert. It answers like little questions like how long can you leave it in, you know, just different things like that that you may be curious about. But really, you can find all these types of questions on YouTube. This one is helpful, like to cut the stem because it actually comes with a very long stem at the bottom of it. And depending on like your cervix, you know, as a woman, you should know these things about yourself. Depending on your cervix, you know, then you cut the diva cup to or the stem, you know, to suit you and, and feel more comfortable for you. So yeah, it comes with this little pamphlet in both Spanish and English. The front half is English and then the back half is going to be Spanish. And then it came with this little thing. This is where the little storage pouch came in. So this is, I don't need that. but I think I'm going to keep my box because I have my pamphlet. I have to store my Diva Cup in there. So a Diva Cup, <laughs> if you don't know what it is. So it's supposed to be an alternative, a more healthier alternative than using pads and tampons. As we all know, tampons are just icky, like, so many people get tampon infections, <laughs> like, infections from, you know, stuffing that man-made thing up there, and it's like, you know, papery or whatever. Some particles just don't come out, you know, once you pull it out, you don't always get the particles out, and you change the tampon, you know, how many times throughout the day, so you're not always accessible to a shower when changing them, so, you know, sometimes those little particles get stuck up there, and it's just not good for you. <clears throat> it causes infections. And then we all know about pads, they're just icky, they feel like diapers, like, we ain't got time for that, <laughs> right? No time for that. So, yeah, the Diva Cup is basically that little cup that I just showed you. I'll get it again. It's a little cup, and it looks big, it's like, oh my gosh, you stick that up there. But it folds, you know, it does, like I said, I use a little C-fold. They have different types of folds, you know, and they have different types of cups, too. I um I like this one because it's clear. You can see, you know, your blood and yeah, this is a little bit TMI, but <laughs> you can see everything in the cup, right? So yeah, that's basically what a diva cup is. It's an alternative for pads and tampons. So instead of using that, you use this cup. It lasts you for 12 hours long, and it's just pretty easy. You just I'm not gonna say yank it out, but you take it out gently. <laughs> And when you're in the shower, you just dump it, rinse it, you know, while you're in the shower and put it back up there and go on about your day. Now, I'm not going to lie, um, I am newer to the Diva Cup, so it does take some time, some practice to actually know how to, like, put it in there and seal it. And you have to get used to your body. You definitely have to be comfortable with your body and be used to it because your fingers go all types of places there. <laughs> so, yeah, you have to be comfortable with it. You have to be comfortable with your blood. You know, you can't be the type of person to be passing out when you see blood. So you just have to really be comfortable with it. Um, and I think it's good. It makes it gets you comfortable with your body. It makes you learn your body. It makes you learn your woman parts, your womanhood <laughs> down there. So they're pretty good to use. But yeah, so yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put it up there, you go about your day and um, take it out, dump it, put it back. Simple as that, while you're on your whole little monthly. It also saves you money in the long run because you're not out there buying a whole bunch of pads and tampons, which we all know adds up over time, can be expensive, especially if you want a good brand. Um, they can be quite expensive. I will say keep a box of pads or panty liners handy, you know, when you're newer to using the cup because spillage is real, <laughs> leakage is real, you know, you're not a pro, so you gotta have some backup there, right? So, um, yeah, that's basically what the Diva Cup is. That's the 
gym <laughs> in my bathroom right now. Like that is my beloved item right now in my bathroom. I actually want to order the Lily Cup. The Lily Cup is the pink one. Um, and it's softer in texture. It's not like this plastic, or I'm not even gonna say plastic, but silicone type of um, material. And also the shape of it is, looks more like our lady part. It looks more like the shape of a, you know, a badge. So it's gonna be basically better, I guess, to use. I hear that they're better to use. And they have different kinds of Lily Cups. That's just the brand it is, the Lily Cup <laughs> brand. They have a little compact one that you can, it's very small, you can stick it in your purse. So like if you're out and, out and about and then you're, you know, the time comes and you weren't prepared, you just whoop, whip it out and <laughs> go on about your day <laughs> and just go on about your day. Um, so I want to try that kind and then see which one I like better. Um, they're, I mean, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool things. Whoever made those, kudos to you. They have different brands. They have organic brands. They have just all types of different the whole strand of them now that you can check out and you know use for yourself so that is the diva cup that's like my that's the baby in the bathroom <laughs> the baby of the products in my bathroom right now is my diva cup i'm pretty sure when i get my lily cup that's going to be the new almighty in here so <laughs> and also you know if you're still using cats you know i say always those uh the always brand Cotex, ditch that crap. Um, if you're on the pad, still go, you know, go to the organics. You got this pad, it's called Lola. This brand I found at Walmart. It's okay, it's organic pads. This is what they look like in the packaging. And then there's also another brand that I like. This is the Target brand that I use. It's called Cora. This is what it looks like. And then this is what these come like, like this. Pretty neat little packaging. For the most part, these companies are like women, you know, made by women for women type of companies. So they're like a woman made brand, which is pretty dope to me. Um, cause <laughs> women know what we going through. So, <laughs> yeah, so they're pretty cool. So, you know, just, they also have tampons, we use tampons, but they're all organic, um, which is better for us anyways, especially because this stuff is like so close to our sensitive, parts of our bodies are like very sensitive parts of our bodies so you know we just gotta be careful mindful of what we're putting down there what we're using down there you know stuff like that it's very important very important my favorite uh brand of pad that i use would be this one it's also a target product it's for like seven bucks i'll let you read the pack you see it has that infamous logo by women for women so these are pretty good to use too um these ones are actually my favorite they come out in this like purple package kind of like how this looks but yeah so you know just find alternatives you know like always and coltex and stuff like that yes they're like name brand but but not so good for you name brand doesn't necessarily mean best for you um you know these Brands like this may be a little bit more, you know, may cost you a dollar or two more, but it's gonna be worth it in the long run because they're organic, they're good for the earth. We do toss these out, so we're not tossing out all that bad stuff. And then we're not putting all that bad stuff like by our badges. <laughs> so, you know, it's just always important to look at those things. Have fellas on here, look, sorry for the TMI, but us ladies, like, if we got the tips, the secrets, you know, we got the keys, we're gonna share them, okay? We gotta let each other know, you know, what works. Give each other some new ideas on what to use because being a woman is hard. Like, we have monthlies, we have babies. <laughs> we do things with our bodies that are just crazy, you know? So being a woman is hard. You know, we got certain things that go on that y'all ain't gotta deal with. <laughs> so, you know, if I got the tips, if I find something cool, whatever, I'm gonna share it, especially since I have a YouTube channel now and I have a platform to talk to different people that I don't know, that I don't talk to on a daily. So I'm gonna let it be known, y'all. I'm gonna let it be known. <laughs> I'm gonna come with the stuff that I come across that I think is cool, you know, that maybe other people may like or other people are probably interested in, but you know, have been too scared to try it. Well, I tried it for both of us, so 
you know, sorry if it's TMI. <laughs> For the most part, yeah, that's my bathroom. And that, that's just it. Like, I don't really have hair accessories in here. It's just a flat iron and a brush. Um, Cause I wear wigs, so there's really not much to do. But throw the wig on <laughs> and flat iron it and brush it out. And my wig glue, so. <laughs> I really don't have hair accessories to show you. I don't have makeup to show you because again, all I wear is lip balm and then I get my lashes done. And my eyebrows for the most part are coming through on their own. So I don't have any makeup to show you. <laughs> so, I mean, my bathroom is just very simple, I guess. It's just all like personal hygiene products. I don't have any like, you know, beauty products in here. To me, my beauty product is my coconut oil. I just like my beauty product for me and my lip gloss. So, you know, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in my bathroom and looking at my goodies that I have. These are all the goodies that I like to use and that I keep on my little shelf here that I just recreated. I made something out of nothing. <laughs> and yeah, these are like the brands that I like to use, the things that I like to use in my bathroom, the things that are essential to me for my um, hygiene, my personal hygiene, my woman health, you know, all that lady stuff, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so yeah, this is like what I like to use. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys, you know, see some products that you like. You know, even if you can't get out and go to the store right now because of what's happening out in the world, you can always order online or you could just wait, you know, but these are just things, you know, just wanted to share with you guys <laughs> while we we're on this crazy lockdown. Um, yeah, you guys, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for all your support and you know your comments and your love that you're giving me i appreciate it and let's just keep things going stay safe stay blessed out there and everybody stay healthy and have a good one bye <laughs>